oh y'all see my little two little puff puffs today that's how i was feeling i know i'm probably too old to be wearing my hair like this but whatever what i'm supposed to look like granny may who said i gotta do that where's that written in the manual okay once you reach 30 you should look like this once you reach 40 you should look like this and by the time you reach 60 you need to look like this and by the time you're 70 or 80 break out the cane and the walker who said so who who, who said where's that written ain't nobody say that but that's what i'm thinking i just said my look i don't see no people my age wearing their hair like this oh well who gonna check me, boo? Who gonna check me? Nobody. And what these kids gonna say, Miss Basil, your hair is cute. That's what they gonna say. Guarantee you. And my outfit is just regular, y'all. It is nothing special. <sighs> so, this is my little outfit. I got my little, ooh. And I got my little socks on. I just threw on a hoodie and threw on a skirt. Yeah. So, and I just leave it longer in the back. And the sleeves. And it's just like I needed something to cover up my arms and stuff. So that's what I have. What's up, Basil Bass? It's your girl, Joy with another finger I'm in my classroom I got here a few minutes early to try to do some work and not be interrupted so I don't have too much time so Bobby came up to the school yesterday she got her hair done for prom I wasn't thinking of vlogging a little bit of her speaking to the kids about her success her motivation um, how she um, achieved great grades in school and, and getting an academic and athletic scholarship. So it was so nice. They were just looking at her. They asked her a few questions. But the big question that every class asks, how is your mother at home? Pretty much what you get here is what we get at home. <laughs> And she says, I could not ask for a better mom. And she's just amazing, blah, blah, blah. You know, I did pay her $5 to say that, but we're not going to tell nobody that, okay? <laughs> but it was so nice for her to be here, you know, for me to brag on her. But what's funny is that um, we had some teachers visiting the school. And Dawn is like my momager momager is like a mom manager and she brought the guests into my class and they were working in groups and you know she was bragging on me like a mom like a proud mom and I told her that I appreciate that because I've dealt with so much hate and jealousy most of my life that you know most people don't try to pump you up they're trying to pull you down or take credit away from you or something like that and so it was great having to visit the class and you know talking to them about my inspiration for my type of class with my son having ADHD so um so it was nice to you know she was so proud she was like see see what she did see what she did you know so I thought that was really really sweet and so it was a good day yesterday but we have I think 22 days left of school right and I told the kids, we've been in school for 10 months. You know, after the 23 days, 10 months, almost 10 months. If you do not have a desire to pass and to study after all this time, there is nothing more I can do for you in the last 22 days. So baby, here is your study guide for your big exam that's coming up. If you choose not to take advantage of this study guide, ask questions, work with your group, there's nothing I can do for you, nothing. It's like I'm at my wits end. I've worked harder than the students this year and not all of them, but many of them do not care. They don't care. And Bobby talked about, she was like, she would never have a zero. That would never work for her or Sydney. 
Clinton, my son. <laughs> I would have to get on him, but Sydney, Bobby, baby, uh-uh, they would be ready to email a principal or somebody. And I was like, and I was like, Bobby, so you know, talk to the kids about you know your grades, and and she was like, no, she said you have to want to be motivated for your success and blah, blah, blah. So she did a phenomenal job. It was my first time seeing her in action, speaking um, to the children, speaking in general to a group. So, which really upsets me that she did not submit her speech for graduation because obviously what I saw here, she is not shy. She got a little bit of home mom in there. So I was like, that really bums me out. But it is what it is there's nothing else I can do yeah so I told the kids I was like I was like at this point if you don't care then bye 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 here's your study guide I stayed up to one o'clock in the morning formatting a cute little booklet I need to make copies a cute little booklet um, everything all the questions that are gonna be on the test but we applied the questions to a different story so it'll be the same questions on a test but it'll be a different story but same questions so I'm like this is your opportunity to go through this study guide if you have questions or concerns this is your chance if you don't have questions or concerns fine if you choose not to take advantage of this study guide Baby, what more can I do? What more can I do? Help me help you. So at this point, I throw on a towel because I, I let me tell you, I worked my tail off this year. Worked my tail off. And after nine months, nine and a half months, you still don't have a desire to be at the top of your game? Mm -mm. The only thing I can do now is take your test for you or give you the answers. And that's not happening. So that's where I am right now. I've tried. I've tried. It's like you could lead a horse to water until your well runs dry. Bebe. Mm -mm. So, and then I took on another teacher's students. I took on 10 of his students because he's out and. <laughs> So I kind of rescued those 10 students from the sub and I don't, I don't think the sub is, you know, whatever. So I go to the door, come on, come on. And we get in here and they, they sit down in a little corner, all 10 of them, and they be taking their notes. They be engaged the whole time. So the class is big, but I don't know. It seems like I like a big class. <laughs> I guess it's the performing me and I stand on my stage, honey. And it's just been great. I love having them. If they want to stay for the rest of the year, they are welcome to do so. It'll be up to their teacher. But um it's been it's been great having them. I just I just love them so much already. <laughs> the and one girl came to class, she was like, Does your offer still stand that we can come all week? <laughs> Does your offer still stand? I was like, yes, it does. And, and so she didn't want to leave the class. So I had to go to the class, stand in the door. And I just said, come on. I looked at the sub. I'm taking the kids again. Come on, y'all. I said, you, you stay because you didn't do no work. You didn't do any work when I took you yesterday. So you stay here. <laughs> you know, I feel as that it's an honor to come up in here, honey. Bye -bye. And I feel like if you don't want to be in my class, goodbye. Here's your packet. You could go right to the library because it's independent work anyway. You don't need to be somewhere where you don't belong. So I have maybe like two students that just have it in for me, which hurts my feelings. But baby, it's okay. <laughs> I am used to everybody not loving the joy and not loving the joy, honey, but that's okay. You know, I gotta create a little doodly video with my little characters and a little voiceover. So I have to figure out what I'm gonna say. Just extra. It's just who I am. I can't help myself. Okay? I can't help myself. Okay. All right. I hope you guys had have a good day or had a good day or you plan to have a good day because it's totally up to you. Don't let anybody rob you of your joy. Purr, purr, sis, purr. Okay. Ah, yesterday was so cute. I just loved having Bobby come. Oh my God. They was like, Miss Basil, 
Miss Basil, I know she's your favorite. I said, no, all my kids are my favorites. They was like, no, she's not. No, they're not. They said, no, they're not. No, they're not, Miss Basil. We didn't even know you had other children. <laughs> We didn't even know you had, you know, another daughter. I was like, yes, I got three. I have three kids. Y'all know that. Stop playing. Stop playing, bro. Stop playing, bro. <sighs> they're all my favorites. <laughs> it's just that they're just coming different packages. That's all. Okay. So let's just say Sydney. I'm proud of her. You know, she's into the church and blah blah blah. I've I've talked about that. I posted her her um baptism and I've done all that. But you know, with school, she's you know she's an A B student, mostly A's. <laughs> the B's make her nerves bad. Baby, a C. She would be a, she would need therapy. But she's she's like in a safe zone. So I'm like, okay, Sydney got a B, guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, she she got an A on her test. I don't even do that with Bobby. Now, if you're doing something, you know, that's pretty impressive, you know, I'm gonna talk about it. <laughs> I'm gonna talk about it. So I'm like, all right, she handing in her, her uh, paper. Yes, okay, <gasps> yeah. <laughs> and you know, Clinton is doing great. He's doing great. He's about to move. Oh, God. Baby, I'm going to say this topic for later. I'm going to talk to y'all about Clinton, honey. So, we talk more um, text. Um, he's not a big caller. I'm not a big phone person at all. I've had this problem since, as far as I can remember, since high school. And I've lost a lot of friends because I don't call people. So, um... I just, just something about the phone. So anyway, let me get started because you know I'll start running my mouth, child. That's what I'll start doing. You know what it's like? Cause it, my kids don't really have time for me at home, and they they're busy talking to their own friends. Bobby lives on her phone, and Sydney she's in her own social world. Excuse me, she's in her own social world. So. I guess when I talk to y'all, it's like I'm letting it all out. Brrr. Or when Bay Daddy comes to town, I'm just a brrr. <laughs> You think I could talk, baby? <laughs> Try watching a movie with Bay Daddy, baby. <laughs> the talking doesn't stop. I'm like, what you? <laughs> Be quiet. <laughs> all right. All right, guys, I love you, and I might come back. I might not, depending on what exciting happens. I just adore my students. They are so sweet. Most of them are sweet. I just love them. I'm going to miss them. I really enjoyed this year. I really enjoyed this year. It's been a good year. It's been hard. It's been hard, but I've had more moments that I've enjoyed than I didn't enjoy. Bye, y'all.